Hello friends! Welcome to my second YouTube video. I'm super excited for this one. This one's for one of my very good friends, Blakeith. Um, he has a really good canvas. I'm helping him make his patio and balcony more welcoming. It's an empty canvas. We started off with literally nothing. And I'm just excited to do this for him because, you know, he loves to read and this just would be a perfect spot for him to chill after a long day at work, you know. And yeah, he's my good friend, always been supportive with me through the journey of life. So let's get to this project, guys. Whoosh. Here is kind of what the balcony uh, slash patio looks like before. First place I always stop by is the as is section. I found many things here for half off or even less than that. Uh, we actually found the one of the patio chairs here and it was actually sold out. So we were very lucky and we got it for a reduced price. Next we stopped by a couple thrift stores to pick up a couple pieces. And I love this thrift store because this one, Target actually donates like their stuff here. So, and I wish I grabbed this piece, but I didn't. I regret it now. And then I also had to stop by Menards to grab supplies. So I had to grab hooks and some wood. I don't know about you guys, but I love this section of Menards. It's just so pretty. And here we are back at my place preparing for the makeover. I am just kind of staining um, this with a sponge because I wanted it to be a little darker. And this is just a stain I have laying around at home. You can pretty much stain any color you like or just keep it the natural wood. I just wanted to add some um, different wood colors, not just light colors since we already had some light wood colors coming in from the other decor pieces. And then I'm just sanding this down. This is going to be the pole that the string light goes on. I'm sanding it so that we don't have to, we don't get splinters, you know? We are going to stain it with a, with a sponge brush again to get that darker color. I don't know if you guys know this trick, but you could take tape and 
and then measure out the hook and then tape it where the hook ends. That way you know how far into the wood that you need to drill to pre-drill into. And that way the hook just splits perfectly when you put it in. So we made it to Blake's place and now we are assembling furniture and putting everything together. And finally the day's here. It's here! Yay! I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. Um, we messed up. <laughs> we did we did it the wrong way, so we actually had to redo it. Shh, don't tell anyone. I measured out how high I want the pole to be, and then I just cut it. Nice. So Blake here is going to disappear, and we're gonna put everything together, and it's gonna be pretty, and we're gonna get his reaction. Okay. So bye, Blake. Your Good reaction night. will be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> then I used uh, zip ties laying around the house to zip tie the pole onto the patio. So here's the fun part putting everything and all the decor pieces into its place. This rug actually was a pleasant surprise because I had another rug that I bookmarked, but it was sold out, sadly. But this one worked out better because I think like the dark black actually adds like a more masculine vibe. To install the string lights, I use these hooks that I bought off of Amazon and they hold like 50 pounds or something. These are what I use around my house too. So I'll link that below for you guys if you want to use that too. Reach for the sky. That's kind of scary. Don't <laughs> <laughs> like, fall. Look how low it is. That's the what? Let me see. Look how low it is. Let me see. <laughs> 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 You're, we're laughing with that. <laughs> Sorry, Blake. Also, you can just find things around your house like I did here. I found this book. And then I also found a coaster to match with the pillow too, like the orange colors from the pillow. And now it's time for the reveal! Here is what it looks like at night. All 
Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that makeover. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was my very first makeover and I'm excited to do more in the future. But yeah, we went out to eat after that and then we came back and then we like hung out on the patio and it was so moody and vibey and yeah, and um, Blake liked it so much that he told me the next day, even though it was more chilly outside and windy, he still sat outside and worked on his laptop and read a book. So I'm glad he enjoyed that and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and all my social links is at Shell Panther. Alright, bye!